Hi everyone! Hi Press Starters! Good afternoon! How are you? I missed you all. Now let me know if you can hear me. Hold on, let me check. Okay, so let me greet those who are watching. Hi Jamila! Nice to uh, have you here again. Hi Coach Emerald Blake! Thank you for watching. Hi to Ma'am Aurora Kain. Hi to Carol Liveta. Yeah, so please, please comment and interact with us. My name is Coach Elaine and we're here for another session of our free live webinar. And now our topic will be English grammar. Please feel free to share this to your timeline. Please share this to your groups, tag your friends yeah, so that we can have more friends with us this afternoon. Hi, Rio. Thank you for watching. And hello to Ajira Ismael. Thank you, everyone. Now, let's um, start with our session this afternoon. Hi, Marge. From Batangas. Yeah, how's the weather? It's um, rainy here in Quezon City. Hi, Paul, Miss Jazira. Thank you for joining this afternoon. A welcome, uh, a warm welcome <laughs> to everyone. Oh, hello, hi, attorney, tama ba? Attorney Enrique Vittorio Cruz. <laughs> yeah, how are you? Kamusta? Hi, Lizelle Lectura. Thank you for watching. Okay, so to those who are joining for the first time, let me know as well if this is the first time you're joining our Facebook Live. To those who don't know me yet, my name is Elaine. You can call me Coach Elaine. And I'm one of the co-founders of Prestert Studio. I've been doing training for as long as I can remember. Yeah, uh, I've been in this uh, industry for over 12 years now. And recently, I've been certified as a certified learning and development professional. I'm a teacher and a trainer, and I'm also an author of two books, Press Start Play Guide for Life Game Changers and Pressing On. I'm also working on my third book, so please pray with me that I'll be able to finish it within the year because my target is to launch it before the year ends. Yeah, so to those who are writing their books as well, I believe we have friends here, especially from Friend Masters Administration, yeah, who are working on their books as well. I hope this session will be helpful for you as you uh, continue with your writing. Uh, first time for Sarah Nambio. Hello. I hope you learned something from the session. Uh -huh, thank you very much, Muhaima. Jerix, good afternoon. Angelo. Uh, good afternoon to you and yeah uh, I hope you enjoy everyone and please comment if you have inputs if you have questions if you if you would like to ask or share something please go ahead and type it away okay so we have our press start Academy offering digital learning sessions and last free live webinar I uh, I declared a, um, a mission and that is to help out 1,000 organizations and I hope I'll be able to do that within this lifetime so please help me out with that and uh, please uh, refer us recommend us or if you need yourself for your personal uh, or professional development if you need it for yourself or for your school or company or organization please uh, let us know inquire and we would be happy to provide our digital learning services. And we have a wide array of topics ranging from leadership to um, technical training. We also have uh, training on communication skills, English proficiency. So if you would need help on grammar as well for your school or company, send us a message. Uh, for business writing, we can also assist you. We have a book writing mentoring program, by the way. So if you have uh, struggles finishing your book, we can help you with that as well. Also, if you would need help on stress management, yeah, if you feel stressed, please uh, feel free to get in touch with us. Okay, We can run a program on that as well. If you would want to 
increase your confidence in presenting, how to do live session such as this one, how to become more effective in terms of your facilitation so we can help you with that. We'll be launching our Train the Trainer. So to those who are aspiring uh, to become a trainer, we will be launching a program on August, Train the Trainers. So please uh, do support that as well. And um, currently, we have uh, technical skills training. This is uh, being uh, facilitated by Architect Ralph. So if you want to learn AutoCAD, um, SketchUp, Lumion, please enroll. And also, he can help you out with um, construction questions. So if you have questions pagdating po sa home renovation or constructing your uh, dream spaces, we can also make um, that happen. We'll help you out. Design and build your goals and your dreams. Yeah, hello po. Hello, Ma Marietta. Yeah, good Good to see you to here. Hi, Abigail Santa Ana. Good afternoon. Okay. Also, we will be launching once again our three-day online program. So, I, th I believe we have... Um, participants here who have already participated in our English proficiency program but now we will taking it to the next level uh, we'll include personal development uh, modules in this one so yeah please support this as well our English proficiency three-day online program for your oral and written communication skills so please help us yeah comment below wh what uh, schedule would you prefer would it be morning afternoon evening so we can plot our schedule as well so let me know morning afternoon evening okay comment 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 which one would be most uh, effective and um, would be uh, best for your schedule okay hi danilo thank you for watching okay uh keep commenting your nickname and your location so i can also uh, know where you're coming from okay and i can address you as well i can call your names as well and let's be friends here in our session don't forget your hashtags as well uh, later on we'll be uh, turning on our uh, registration for this uh, webinar so please follow the caption at the end of the session yeah there are steps in the cash uh, in the caption so please do follow that at the end of this session Okay, evening for Tintin. Thank you. Yeah, thank. I'll appreciate your feedback, press starters. Uh, what schedule would be best for everyone? Um, Sarah from Marinduque. Hello. Okay. So, why grammar? Why of all topics did I pick grammar for this session? So. I get a lot of inquiries every now and then asking how they can improve on their grammar and they would tell me as well that um, they have problems with their wrong grammar yeah uh, coach Elaine I have wrong grammar can you help me with that okay so for the benefit of everyone yeah wrong grammar we often hear this this is a Filipinism as well you know when we make mistakes or when we get confused we say oh you have wrong grammar who can relate with that wrong grammar wrong grammar and it becomes a habit i would say a force of habit that we usually refer to that when we get confused or when we make mistakes but did you know that the more preferred term would be not using wrong grammar because grammar itself ladies and gentlemen is um, the structure it's the, the usage the correct usage of the language okay it's like a set of rules that you need to follow so we don't say that the rules are wrong right or we don't say that the structure or, or um, the guideline is wrong okay so instead of saying wrong grammar yeah yeah we could say and grammatical yeah because a wrong grammar um it's like uh it's contrasting yeah so you can say grammatically correct or grammatically incorrect or ungrammatical 
And if you have challenges with grammar, okay, please know that you are not alone. Okay, let me know what your challenges are. Comment, like, which um, topic or which part of grammar do you usually struggle with? Um, I often get answers like tenses. Some get confused with tenses. Some with the subject of uh, verb agreement. Some get um, confused with um, prepositions. I remember I, I had this participant. Comment if you're watching right now. Um, she said uh, it's the demonic preposition. So she described prepositions as demonic. Yeah. Why? Because it's so confusing. Like, uh, Especially with us um, Filipinos, a majority are Filipinos watching now, we don't have that much prepositions compared to the English language. So maybe, perhaps, that's where the confusion comes from. Okay, so we won't be tackling that. Then if you're interested to know more about subject verb agreements or tenses or prepositions, uh, I highly encourage you to join our three-day online program. So it's not just the, the writing part that we're going to talk about. We'll also discuss uh, about tips on how to become a better speaker and how to uh, build confidence with English conversations. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your comments. Keep them coming. Sarah said preposition. Okay. Like in, on, at. So we discussed that on um, on our exclusive programs because that's a heavy topic. Or we can also do um, uh, webinars on that later on. Okay. Now let's uh, discuss about the common confusions. Okay. Uh, what are the common mistakes or what are the common difficulties that we face? And let's put it in, um, in the context of the Filipino culture, okay? There is this term, I I'm not sure if you heard about it. It's called uh, Filipinism, yeah, the Filipinoisms, okay? So there are words that were literally translated, um... However, there is no um, exact, exact translation when, when it comes to the uh, English language. Yeah, So um, that's where the confusion comes in, Filipinism. So we'll uh, have examples on Filipinisms as we go along. Yeah, yeah, Coach Emerald Blake. I'm I'm laughing <laughs> when she said that demonic preposition. Can you relate? Hi, Norilyn. Good afternoon. Okay, so moving on. All right and all right. So which one is correct? All right as a single word or all right as two words? Which one? Feel free to type. Which one is uh, the correct um, use of um, all right? Yes, thank you, Laurie Lynn. That's two words. For informal writing, there's this tendency to use all right with a single word, okay? That we put them together. However, for formal writing, it should be all space right, okay? Two words. So to those who are writing for your formal essays or um, formal letters, Use two words. Two words, two words. All, space, right. Okay? All right is the more informal way to put it. All, e, uh, with, uh, the single word. However, again, for formal writing, it should be two words. Okay? Thank you. Yeah, I love it. Get, uh, uh, keep the uh, answers coming. Okay? Another confusion. When we put more... And then add the adjective with er. For example, taller. We add more. Oh, that basketball player is more taller than, okay, than him. Okay. So it's not proper to put more, okay, because that's being redundant. So just say taller or hotter or better. We don't say more better. Oh, it's more better. 
in the Philippines. Um, similar to most best, right? We don't say most best. Or most hottest. Who is the most hottest celebrity? Okay, so no. Just say hottest. Okay, delete more. That's redundant. Very good. Next. Okay, I know I've been talking about this several times, but I understand that there are still confusions. So when do we use your and when do we use your with an apostrophe? Okay, that's a common confusion. When do we use your without E and without apostrophe? And when do we use your with an apostrophe? Okay, remember, press starters, your, okay, we use your without apostrophe and without E to show possession. For example, your uh, mug okay or your um, bag okay it means you own it your but thank you very much liza your with an apostrophe is the contraction of you are when you say you are beautiful and when you contract it you remove a and instead put a uh, put an apostrophe, it becomes your. I hope that clarifies, okay? So when you say you're invited to my party, it should be, is it with an apostrophe or without apostrophe? Oh, sal um, salamat mo, Jaime. Thank you for that. Your is pagmamayari and your is ikaw. Okay. So you're invited, it should be with an apostrophe okay very good everyone next it's and it's when do we use it's without apostrophe and when do we use it's with an apostrophe okay and it's a lot similar to your and your one would refer to something in possession one is the contraction of it is so when you say it is small okay you put apostrophe it is small it's small so that's with an apostrophe okay another confusion there 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 it almost sounds alike but they are being used differently there t-h-e-i-r would also show possession their car their property okay while there t-h-e-y apostrophe r-e is the contraction of thank you laureline they are okay they are nice they are kind so when we contract it there they're kind and then there is when you demonstrate okay the location of something okay there there you pointed to something there Okay, I hope that clarifies as well. Another confusion. Okay, so there are words in the English language that we don't add S anymore for their plural form. Okay, one of the examples, okay, would be furniture. Okay, it's not furnitures. It is only furniture, okay? No um, furnitures. Again, no furnitures. It's just furniture. Same goes with equipments, okay? We don't say uh, equipments. We only say equipment without an S, okay? Furniture and equipment, okay? That's already taken as a group or as a collection. Again, furniture and equipment. Hi, thank you, Ivy, for the hashtags. Again, feel free to share this. Feel free to tag your friends and feel free to comment and ask questions and answer. Okay. Next one. The ellipsis. Now, what is the ellipsis? What is this? Can you comment below? Okay, can you type ellipsis? Use the symbols or use the marks. The punctuation marks for ellipsis. Okay. How do you write an ellipsis? 
let us see comment comment write an ellipsis using the punctuation marks yeah thank you laurelin collectives okay rio very good so rio typed an ellipsis gladys as well dot 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 remember three dots very good janelle three dots so it's not two it's not four okay the correct ellipses very good everyone would compose three dots would be composed of three dots okay and also don't overuse it like in a sentence okay oh dot 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 wow dot 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 there are dot 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 okay so um write a period if a period is uh, necessary write an ellipsis if you're omitting something or to signify yeah for for those who are into novel writing maybe signifying a pause okay but do not overuse ellipsis and not overdo it like make 20 dots okay that's no longer an ellipsis okay next more common uh, confusions tin number and pin number okay why is it um confusing or why is it a mistake tin number and pin number what is tin or when you're asked what's your tin number or what's your pin number so we have to remember that tin would stand for taxpayers identification number so imagine ah thank you miss marietta so imagine if you're going to add number there it's like saying taxpayers identification number number wow you have a lot of numbers also with pin number Okay, your personal identification number, it's redundant. So for effective writing, please avoid redundancy. Yeah. Next, okay, cope up. The term cope up. Oh, I need to cope up in this crisis. Or I need to cope up um, with everything that's going on. Okay, why is it wrong? Or why is it a mistake? cope up all right laurelin should be cope with very good cope with not cope up cope with okay cope with the situation cope or simply cope no need to uh, write up okay again cope or cope with very good next okay when you're uh, talking about um switching something <laughs> You say open and close the light because in Filipino we say bokas or sara, right? Buksan mo nga yung ilaw. Open the light. Sara mo yung ilaw. Close the light. Why is it incorrect? Open and close the light. Also for, um, let's say, television. Open the television. Or um, close the electric fan. <laughs> What should you use instead if you want to say buksan at isara what should you use so that it will be grammatically correct okay so if you want to say buksan at isara open and close we say thank you very much coach and turn on or turn off or switch on or switch off Okay, instead of open and close. Very good. Okay. Next, anyways. Anyways, guys. And daming uh dami nung anyway, no? So it becomes plural. Anyways. So for effective writing, okay, especially for formal writing, no S. Okay. Anyway. It's only anyway without an S. Next, for my opinion. For my opinion, this should be the case. Or for my opinion, we need to do this and we need to do that. For my opinion, what should we use instead? Thank you, Laurelin. In my opinion. 
Yan, in my opinion. Okay. Based from, based from the research or based from the uh, gathered evidence, based from um, our survey, based from what we have discussed, okay. what should be used instead? Comment, comment, comment. Based, blank. Okay, thank you, Bell. Based on, it should be on. Okay, based on. Not based from, but based on. Very good. Next, okay, when you need to fill up the form. Fill up the form. Why is it incorrect? Fill up the form if you need to. Yeah, answer um, a survey or a form. Or, yeah, my can also say according to. According to. Thank you, Rio. It should be fill out. Out. Fill out. Fill out the form. Okay, fill up a container or fill up the cup. Okay, we fill up something. Okay, but we say fill out. Okay, for answering the form. Okay, very good, everyone. Okay, another common um, mistake that we need to watch out would be comma splices. Okay, what are comma splices? Okay, this is when we use the comma inappropriately. Let me give you an example. Ralph was very hungry, comma, he ate a bucket of chicken. Okay, and uh, yeah, he was very hungry. Yeah, when he went home earlier. Yeah, but he wasn't able to uh, <laughs> to eat a bucket of chicken. Okay, but he was very hungry. Okay, Ralph was very hungry, comma, he ate a bucket of chicken. It's a comma splice. Why? Because the comma is used inappropriately. So, can anyone please type a better way to write this? So that we can um, avoid the comma splice. Okay. I'll give you mine. Ralph was very hungry, comma, so he ate a bucket of chicken. Okay. So, what's missing earlier is your conjunction. Okay? Because you need a conjunction to combine two ideas or two um, complete sentences. You have two complete sentences there. You have two um, complete ideas. Ralph is very hungry. That's your first sentence. He ate a bucket of chicken. That's your next sentence. So, if you want to combine the two, you need to add a conjunction. Okay? So, so, so is a conjunction. Okay? So, remember, if you have a comma, do not forget your conjunction if you are combining two independent clauses. Okay? Is that clear? Okay? Next would be your run-on sentence. Okay, the sentence keeps running and running and running on. Okay, so please stop when you must. Okay, let me give you an example. Okay, and my period should be after dogs. <laughs> okay, Ralph likes pets. He has three dogs. Okay, Ralph likes pets. He has three dogs. So again, you have two independent clauses here. Ralph likes pets and he has three dogs. Okay, so what do you need to add here? Can anyone comment? What do you need to add? Or what's what's missing in this sentence? You have two complete ideas. And you're fusing them into one. But you are missing something. It could be a punctuation mark. Okay. Yes, Marietta, you can say, Ralph likes pets, comma. Okay, and as mentioned earlier, do not forget your 
conjunction. So Ralph likes pets, comma, and he has three dogs. Okay? Or, yeah, another way is to use a period. Again, stop when you must. Ralph, uh, Ralph likes pets, period. He has three dogs, period. Okay? Another way uh, on how you can write it would be Ralph likes pets, okay? Your punctuation mark would be a semicolon, okay? And then he has three dogs, okay? I hope that clarifies. Again, let me know if you have questions. Okay. Thanks, Coach Emerald. So, Ralph likes pets. Okay. Your comma. Forget your comma. And he has three dogs. Okay. So, I have here some more examples. Okay. Please spot the mistake. And let's see how we can write them better. Yeah, so Ralph is now commenting. So that's a true story. He has three dogs. Our dogs are named Rolex, LV, and Gucci, our luxury dogs. Yeah, they're they're here playing around. Okay, so let's spot the mistake. What time it is? Okay, guys, what time it is? Okay, it's now 4.31. <laughs> time check. What time is it? Thank you, Rio. Very good. Good job. How to spell? How to spell? When you're asking someone like how to spell onomatopoeia or how to spell Mississippi. How to spell pneumonia, microscopic silicovolcano coniosis. How to spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> how do you say that instead? Ah, thank you. Thank you, Bell. How do you spell? Okay, because number one, who is the one um, to be spelling it out? Okay, you. How do you spell? Remember, for um, a sentence to be complete, it needs to have a subject and a predicate. Okay, refresher 101. How do you spell onomatopoeia? How do you spell uh, Mississippi? Next, she is married with an architect. Or when I say, I am married with an architect. Okay? Spot the mistake. She is married with an architect. Spot the mistake. And uh, we're talking about prepositions here. Okay, can you spot the knot? <laughs> yeah. So according to him, it is not a mistake. <laughs> okay, she is married to an architect. Thank you. Very good. It's two. It's two. You're married to someone, not with. Married to. Very good. Okay, the police is coming. Hurry up. The police is coming. What is wrong here? The okay is is Miss Marietta. What should be um, used instead of is? What should um, our verb be? The police is coming. Thanks, Rio. The police are and why are because police is taken. Um, police are <laughs> taken collectively. Police are coming. So if you want to. Um, use the singular form. Okay, you can say policeman, police officer, policewoman. Okay, is. Okay, but police, um, like here when we say policia, policia, like it's a it's a group of police officers coming. Okay. Next, the people hears the sound. The people hears the sound. And now we're talking about subject verb agreement. Okay, remember for our subject verb, um, if you have a singular subject, you need to have a, a singular verb. And for your plural subject, you need to have a plural verb. 
Okay. People, many persons. Okay. So, it should be here. The people hear the sound. Next, mathematics confuse me. Okay. Mathematics confuse me. Same goes with physics. Okay. Physics confuse me. There are words that appear to be plural. However, they are singular. Okay, that should be confuses me. Very good, Rio. Mathematics confuses me. Okay. Hey, whose books are this? Okay, when you're asking um, who owns something, whose books are this? It's another confusion like what we had earlier on um, uh, its and its with an apostrophe and for your and your with an apostrophe. So this time around, um, the confusion of using whose with an apostrophe when in fact you should be using, yes, very good, Rio, Laureline, and Jazeera, it should be and Mary as well, Mary Kith, W-H-O-S-E. In Filipino, we say, kanino, who's? Okay. Now, let's ap apply what we learned earlier. The tree lost its leaves. Okay. So, think about it. Okay. Would it be appropriate to say the tree lost its leaves? Okay. I don't think so. Okay. So, with that being said, do we need an apostrophe for the tree lost its leaves? Not anymore. So thank you, Janelle, Jersey, and Rio. It should be the tree lost its leaves. Very good. Okay. Next, let's apply again what we learned earlier. You're invited to my party. Okay. You're invited to my party. What should be... The correct way of writing this one. You're invited to my party. Very good, Jersey. That's with an apostrophe. Because that's you are. You are invited to my party. Okay? I know where they're coming from. I know where they're coming from. Okay? Again, we're talking about contractions here. Okay? Is it the correct spelling? Okay, please type, 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 type. I know where they're coming from. Okay. Or in Filipino, we say, Alam ko kung saan sila manggagaling. I know where they're coming from. Okay, thanks, Rio. I know where they are coming from. That's T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. I know where they're coming from. Okay. There is fewer rain in our country. There is fewer rain in our country. What should be the correct way to write it? Spot the mistake. Okay. Use sharp eyes. There is fewer rain in our country. Um, remember your count nouns, your mass nouns, and your count nouns. There is fewer rain in our country. Okay, very good, everyone. Keep your answers coming. Okay, fewer, fewer rain. Okay, so yes, Rio, good job. There is less rain. Rio, can you type why less? Can you can you type also for March? Very good. Why why do we use less instead of fewer for the benefit of everyone? Okay. My question is, can you count rain? Can you count rain? Like go outside. I know in some parts of the Philippines it's raining. Can you count? Oh, there are um, million drops of rain. We can't, right? We can't. So if we cannot count it, 
if we cannot we can't count it we use less okay thank you rio because we cannot count drops of rain okay good luck counting the rain so there is less rain same goes with stress right we don't say oh um i have fewer um stress okay we cannot count stress so we say less stress even air for example you can you count air we cannot we can't even see it so we can say less less air okay um but for fewer we use fewer if we can count objects okay for example your books or your gadgets you can count them yes it's an uncountable noun okay next one um spelling b you must not lose the card okay you must not lose the card spot the knot spot the mistake it's also a common confusion okay especially for um words that um sound alike very good it should be single l you must not lose single um single o rather you must not lose the card l o s um e you mean um wag mong iwawala yung card okay loose with a double o means maluwag okay like a loose shirt l o s l o o s e um loose when you did not win loose okay the opposite of win okay more examples i seek an advice i seek an advice again um common confusion when it comes to spelling so please spot the knot and answer the correct spelling i seek an advice thanks janelle it should be advice with a c advice with a c advice with a c is the noun okay it's the opinion it's the opinion that you're giving advice with a c it's the um noun again advice with an s is the verb okay please be advised okay i advise her okay it should be with an s if it is being used as a verb again if it is a noun use letter c i play basketball good okay i play basketball good okay yes thank you janelle advice is the noun and advice with an s is the verb i play basketball good okay what should be the correct way the grammatically correct way to write it okay it should be well very good i play basketball well why why well well is describing what is it i is it play or is it basketball okay so good is used to describe a noun however in this sentence in this example good is describing how you play okay so when you use it as an adverb meaning you're using it to describe a verb okay i play basketball good becomes well very good well describes the verb i look forward to hear from you okay this is the common ender for your emails i look forward to hear from you i look forward to meet you i look forward to listen to you i look forward to uh, make this okay so i look forward to hear from you can you spot the knot very good should be hearing i look forward to hearing from you 
it should be the ing form okay look forward is a phrasal verb to be followed by your um ing form to hearing so same goes with let's say meet okay we don't say i look forward to meet you yeah we say i look forward to meeting you keep that in mind remember that we watched a sneak peek okay or if you want to say that you've um, watched a teaser okay of a film or of a show we watched a sneak peek spot the nut spot the mistake here looking Mar miss marietta looking forward still to hearing pa din po ma'am marietta looking forward to hearing from you yes so looking forward or look forward followed by the ing form to hearing to meeting to listening to sharing i hope that clarifies i got confused as well before yeah thank you laurely and that should be pick like peekaboo okay picking pick is the summit right in a mountain you have a mountain pick so it should be p double e k next okay the justin bieber song my mama don't like you and she likes everyone yes. <laughs> okay um disclaimer disclaimer ladies and gentlemen we have what we call poetic license so this is taken from a song and our, our songs and our poetries would have poetic license usually for them to to flow or to to rhyme however since we are in the context of grammar lessons let's spot the knot okay doesn't and thank you janelle because mama is singular so my mama doesn't like you however when you sing it my mama doesn't like you so pr probably that's why they omit it however again if you want to be grammatically correct it should be my mama doesn't like you next what did you played what did you played what did you played okay think look at your auxiliary verb and this is a common confusion as well okay pamela thank you very good what did you play okay because if you use an auxiliary verb in this case it's did okay the verb that it is helping out will not change okay so it will retain its base form so what did you play what does she play what do you play okay you don't change it it's not um what did you did you don't say what did you did right <laughs> okay you simply say what did you do okay so remember that okay a few more examples um spot the knot is our children learning is our children learning is our children learning subject verb agreement is our children learning are thank you very much uh, very good miss jazira are children plural children are okay so when we uh please it in uh, um, at the start of our sentence, are our children playing? Uh, learning, rather. Okay? Children does learn. Okay, so we answer the first question. Is um, are our children learning? Or is our child learning? Okay? So, children does learn. Okay? Again, children, plural. So, your verb must be plural as well children do learn very good or if you say child the child does learn very good 
I saw there's rumors online. Okay. And there are a lot uh, nowadays. Okay, so please be critical of uh, what you read online. Okay. Get it can get toxic, especially with rumors. Okay, without basis. Okay. So make sure to be critical with um the things that we read, the things that we consume. Okay. I saw there are rumors. Very good. Because rumors, plural. Okay, so I saw there are rumors online. Or we can say I saw there's rumor online. Okay. Next, he or her will pass the test. He or her will pass the test. He or her will pass the the test okay i saw very good thank you thank you for typing the answers yep very good so previously i saw there are rumors online or you can say i saw there's rumor online okay he or she very good he or she will pass the test okay he or she not her one of the things I've used on the Google, okay, one of the things that I've used on the Google is what? One of the things I've used on the Google is the mail. So what is the error? How would you write it? Go, 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 type it away. Type, type, type. One of the things I've used on the Google. One of the things. Okay, so we've got an answer now. One of the things. I've used on Google. So no need to write an article there. You can go straight ahead. One of the things I've used on Google. Or one of the things I've searched on Facebook. Okay? No, no the. Okay? There were less people. There were less people. Earlier we talked about this. If you can remember um, that example. There were less people there were less people okay very good mary keith remove the okay earlier one of things i've used on the google so it should be one of the things i've used on google there were yeah a few or fewer because um you can count them there were few or fewer people in the room Okay, and yes, okay, um, more examples, it is more hot now, it is more hot now, it is more hot now, is it, okay, I'm actually perspiring right now. Okay, no need to to use more. Okay, the the preferred way to write this it is hotter. It is hotter now. I suggested them to visit the doctor. I suggested them to visit the doctor. Okay. Sharp eyes. Use your sharp eyes to identify the mistake. I suggested them to visit the doctor. Are you confused? <laughs> I suggested them. Okay. It's not them that you are suggesting. Rather, you are suggesting to them. So it's, I suggested to them, okay, to visit the doctor. Okay.
next she was boring in the class okay this is also confusing makes you wonder huh she was boring in the class she was boring in the class okay she was boring in the class bored thank you sarah bored okay she was bored i don't want no coffee i ain't no want no coffee <laughs> i don't want no coffee and this is what we call double negatives okay and for effective writing i believe coach m will agree with me on this for effective writing uh we don't really encourage double negatives why um it's confusing especially if you're writing an email okay you email your your colleague i don't want no coffee and then your colleague um wonders does she want coffee or not okay so remember uh avoid double negatives i don't want coffee just say go straight to the point do you want coffee yes i want coffee or no i don't want coffee okay this can often comes home late this can often comes home late okay again we discussed earlier when you have an auxiliary verb or you have a um an um a verb that's helping another verb okay what should be the correct form good afternoon sheila hello and Muhaima. yep no di na kailangan very good this can come home okay this can often come home late remember remember ladies and gentlemen does is an auxiliary verb helping come so it is not going to change its base form this can often come home late okay it will not change its form this can often come home late and Lastly, you like pizza, isn't it? You like pizza, isn't it? You like pizza, isn't it? Identify the subject. Identify the subject here. Okay. You like pizza, okay? If you're going to negate it, okay, the proper way to negate it. Very good, Rio. You like pizza, don't you? Okay, because you are referring to to you liking the pizza or, or not. Okay, you like pizza, don't you? Very good. You like pizza, don't you? Okay. Okay, are you or don't you? Don't you? You like pizza, don't you? All right, so uh, thank you very much. Wow, um, thank you for the engagement. Thank you for interacting with me. I miss this one. I miss having you uh, press starters here on my live. Thank you for joining this afternoon. I hope you learned and, and um, I hope you got refreshed with English grammar. So again, there's more to come okay we have digital learning sessions okay this will not be uh the last time that we'll be hosting a live webinar um and also as mentioned earlier we'll appreciate it a lot if you can refer us or recommend us to your friends or to your company to your school if you need di digital learning sessions so we have um, various topics and for next um week hold on let me check my calendar our next topic will be book writing so to those who are interested uh, uh, on writing a book and you want to learn how to start or how to continue please join me next week we'll be having uh we'll be having uh, a free live session on book writing and again our book writing mentoring program is still ongoing registration is open feel free to message us if you want to know more about it
Okay, next. Okay, again, we're launching our English proficiency three-day online program. Please comment once again um, your preferred time. This will help us a lot. So, uh, three-day online program. Please let us know what would be the best schedule. And I hope you'll support this one. Um, we'll have um, a reasonable fee for this one. This will be held via Zoom. So we can interact with each other. You'll learn how to present. You'll learn how to converse. You'll learn how to answer interviews. You'll learn pronunciation. You'll learn grammar. So it's jam-packed. I have um, been working on the module. We'll keep on improving on this one. So please mark your calendar. Third week of August. We'll release the event soon. Once we get your feedback on the best time to, to host this. Okay, we'd love to help you. Uh, improve your confidence in speaking English okay to be more effective as well in writing and in speaking so please support this one okay let us know if you have questions okay thank you thank you so much thank you so much everyone I've missed this and I owe you a lot of programs so please watch out please continue to support us like and follow our page um, and comment also what have you learned from this session okay hold on let me show you how you can claim your e-certificates especially for those who um are joining for the first time uh -huh. okay my computer is just acting up okay i'm turning it on now okay uh -huh. now please go to our press start website that's www.pressstartph.com again that's www.pressstartph.com and then scroll down scroll down do check out our programs okay uh and our services okay uh we also provide architectural and construction services so to those who would like to renovate their houses or build your houses or businesses go on um let us help you okay just send us a message if you have inquiries uh for training uh, life coaching mentoring okay here we go click link one okay i hope we're on the same page click link one okay it will direct you to a google form now it's a first come first served basis it's limited to 100 e-certificates only so please um fill out the form now okay we'll be closing this at the end of the day so make sure to fill out today okay fill out everything okay write your feedback uh, appreciate if you can write uh, your suggested topics as well like what are the things that you want to learn and click submit so there are some who tend to forget how to, um, uh, to to click submit okay make sure to click submit and it will be automatically sent to your email now we won't be sending it manually so make sure that you write your correct email if you're unable to receive it, you can register again and make sure that it's your correct email. Also, check your spam folder. Okay, sometimes it goes directly to your spam folder. Okay, if not, okay, register again. However, this is limited to 100 uh, certificates only. Okay, that's the capacity of the Google Drive. Okay, so make sure to hurry and register now. What's the uh, website again? www.pressstartph.com Okay? www.pressstartph.com Let me show you one more time. www.pressstartph.com Okay, and then scroll down scroll down scroll down yeah that's me architect Ralph. okay 
Get in touch with us. Just send us an email if you have questions. Okay, link one. Link one. Okay. Thank you very much, press starters. God bless you all. Stay safe.